and what really common future is, what, it, what, the, what, what common future really is. And that's maybe today I'll give you a very, very uh, high level introduction. Next time we'll dive into details, okay? So this equation looks, you should, so looks familiar to you, right? So this looks like a linear system that we focus on this method. And uh, you're all familiar with this A, B, C, D matrices, right, a linear system. The only difference now is there's some additional terms. Those are noise. OK. Noise. You all know noise, right? And especially, let's say, Gaussian noise. Gaussian noise or white noise. OK. You can view this, this kind of a system as a linear system corrupted by noise. What do I mean by this? I will give a more formal definition after we finish the probability review. But, but for now, you can think about uh, the system is no longer, so this model is still kind of a linear model, right? A, B, C, D matrix. Add additional term noise. This is called process noise. This is called measurement noise. I'm going to introduce these, these notations more formally later on. So this model um, no longer deterministic. Okay. What do I mean by that? I can give a mathematical definition of what this means. But for now, I will just say you can think about this. The x next time step, it's not known for sure now. Okay, if you gave me x, gave me u, I can compute x next, ik plus one, right? Before, this xk plus one is completely determined by the current state xk and the current input uk. Okay, but now it's not the case. It's not known for sure, and it has some probabilistic distribution. Okay, the same thing goes for noise. Okay, I don't know exactly, I cannot 100% predict. Model is used to predict the future, right? You know your current state, current input, you can produce, uh, predict your future but you can no longer predict your future exactly or for sure, 100% sure, and, but you know roughly what's going on. There's some kind of noise and uncertainty involved, okay? This kind of uh, linear system crop with Gaussian noise is the underlying dynamical model common future is dealing with, okay? So first of all, common future is concerned with a linear stochastic system, okay, with Gaussian noise. Okay. So the problem, the goal for common future is the following. It's the compute the best estimate of the state of the system. You know what state is now, right? Given the input output data history. Let me repeat again. I have a linear system, okay, but now the only difference is that linear system uh, it's not known for sure now. There's some noise. We are going to learn how to deal with those things later in this class. And uh, our goal is still to estimate the state from the input output data, okay? So if I draw a block diagram, that's my system. I can call it plunk. This is my UK. This is my YK, okay? So UK is what I sent to the Plant. I know this information, okay? And output is whatever I can measure, right? And these two things will come into this block, which we call it common future, okay? Common future. And the output of this block is xk hat. It's the estimate. It's the best estimate of the state, okay? Of course, we learned that before you can use this state for controller design and so that you have feedback law, but you can also use the estimate state to do other things, okay? It's not 
limited to control feedback control design, okay? But you need to know the functionality of this common future block is this. Given input output data pair, I want to find the best estimate, estimate of state. Does this sound familiar to you? What did you learn before that does similar things? Observer, okay? In particular, we learned Lundberg Observer. You just did the exam on that. You designed a Lundberg Observer, right? Which should be stable or not, okay? Okay, let's draw the Lundberg Observer. The, let's say the Lundberg Observer, I still have the same plant. And this is UK, this is YK. Okay, and then I have this observer. I could say observer. Observer also gave me my XK hat. Okay, these two things, functionality-wise, they are the same. Okay, they are the same. Now, what's the difference? Why we need to learn common future? Okay. Uh, first of all, is the modeling assumption changes? Well, that's quite fundamental. That's very important. We're going to show you an example why this is important. This is a deterministic model. Before, we don't have this noise. Okay? Our model doesn't have this noise. What about our plant? Do you think the plant has noise or not? Uh, you may think, um, yes, it may not be exactly a linear system. Maybe there's some uncertainty that are not 100% considered in the model, in the deterministic model, right? Adding noise makes certain sense, right? So the model become a little bit more practical, okay? And the second one is that before, for Lundberg Observer, we, I mean, the key word here, I use a uh, quote unquote here, best, okay? Best estimate. For Lundberg Observer, we didn't learn anything like best. We only learned stable or not, okay? Whether, whether the error will convert to zero or not, okay? So uh, let's write it down. So for Observer, again, uh, if I design Observer gain L, as long as eigenvalues, A minus LC less than one, the Lundberg observer XK hat eventually converts to XK. Okay, the error converts to zero. Is this optimal? Well, it depends what kind of a cost or what your criteria is, right? And it's not, uh, it's not in the, even the problem setup for Lundberg observer, but now for common future, it's not only a observer, it's not only a, a state estimator, but it's optimal in certain sense. Okay, so that's the high level things. I want you to know that common filter is nothing but does the same thing as Lundberg observer. Okay, but your modeling assumption changes from a deterministic A, B, C, D matrix now, sorry, deterministic system characterized by ABCD matrix now change to a stochastic system. So in addition to this ABCD deterministic part, I also somehow systematically consider the noise in the system. Okay, that make actually fundamental change to the nature of the problem and also the behavior of the solution. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I did a simplest case study for you, okay, to illustrate this point. And this system is perhaps the most almost trivial system <laughs> for you to even study. Suppose I have a dynamical system, okay? The dynamic system has a one-dimensional state, and that state does not have that much dynamics, it just stay there. That's my dynamics. So xk plus one equal to xk. Suppose everything is in in R1 is scalar, okay? And uh, YK, my output directly send out the current state. But the measurement always have noise, okay? Now I consider this noise, 
I suppose this is white noise. We are going to define that later on. What do I mean by white noise? Uh, those things in the mathematical terms. Okay, suppose this has some noise. I think you all have intuitive understanding what noise should be, right? And <clears throat> as I mentioned before, common filter and Lundberg observer does the same thing, okay? But if this is the, our true system, suppose we do have noise. You may think the noise is small. Maybe let's ignore it. Does that make a Lundberg observer still, should still work? Okay, that's, that's typically the case, right? So it should work, but it may not work in the optimal way, all right? Uh, <clears throat> let's think about this. Suppose we ignore the noise, then we have a deterministic model, right? This is our xk plus y equals xk, yk equal to xk. What the, what's the a, b, c, d matrix of this? a equal to one, b equal to zero, c is one, d is zero. Okay, this is a determinist system. Okay. Uh, so, Lundberg observer, I think now you are more familiar with Lundberg observer than, um, than two days ago or any time in your life so far, right? Because it's a finished exam. Uh, exam. Okay, Lundberg type observer gives you the structure of this, right? So, xk plus one hat, that's your next step estimate equal to the this should be A times this, but A is one, right? So copy that, times the gain times the error, which is so-called, I call it surprise, right? You expect to see xk hat if everything goes right, but you see something like yk, the surprise is the error that gives you motivation to change, okay? So to change your model, based estimate. So that's the Lundberg observer structure. Then the error dynamics you just derived in your exam. Okay? So it's just the A minus L C times this. Okay. So eventually this will be one minus L times E K. Now I'm going to ask you, uh, according to this error dynamics, what do you think a good IL should be? Suppose I give you two choice. One is 0.9 one is point zero, oh, sorry, point one. According to this aerodynamics, what L, there I have two L, L1, L2, which one is better? L1. Why? One minus point nine equal to point one. So every time, your error decreased by 10 times, right, tenfold. Looks better. What about L2? Then it's become 0.9. It's still converging, but, but it's, uh, it's slower, right? That's what you believe. Okay. Uh, but that's given the fact we ignore this noise term. Suppose that's it's a measurement noise. We don't have to consider that, okay? But that's the, if you can, I can zoom in to this figure. Guess what? These red lines are l it's hard for you to see, right? Uh, hard for you to tell. The, these guys are IL1, and those are IL2. Which one is better? So er, something goes wrong? Why? Can you think about it, why in this case? Our intuition, not intuition, our math tells us IL1 should be better. But it turns out that apparently L1 has very, very large, much larger error than L2. Okay, because in this case, I know the true state. I simulate, right? I know the true state. And I can compare exactly, compute exactly the error and I plot the error here. Okay, so that's L1, L2. It seems that L1 is better. Okay, it's counterintuitive or against our theory about Lundberg observer. This is because the Lundberg observer is based on a incorrect assumption, okay? It's incorrect assumption. So, so that's why it's the case, but if you do a common filter after you take this class, uh, maybe it's just, I think we'll cover common filter uh, very quickly, maybe a few lectures will be enough. And uh, these green lines will be the solution 
with the result of common future, which is optimal in certain sense. Okay, I don't think you can tune the gains to achieve the performance like this common future. Okay, the main thing is that common future systematically consider this noise make the system it, um, stochastic now. Okay, and the better represent the behavior of dynamical system. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I want to uh, deviate a little bit from the formal discussion. As I mentioned before, all models are wrong, right? The same plant, whatever assumption I make to the system that use the this observer design or common feature design does not change the nature of the plant. You should be able to separate model from the actual system. Model is just your belief about the system behavior, okay? But there is a very, very, very bad thing about deterministic models is that you believe too much into that deterministic system. Let me give you an example. I would call this that you didn't know what you don't know. That's more dangerous. Let me repeat. You didn't know what you don't actually know. So knowing what you know and, and you, what you don't know is fine, it's fine, okay? It's, it's, it's really dangerous if you are arrogant, you think you know 100% everything, but you didn't. That will really kind of hurt you. That's the most important thing. I will give you an example. If I use any kind of, uh, I think more, most likely, if you use any kind of probabilistic model that somehow can address uncertainties in a way that stochastic model doesn't need to be exactly accurate. Okay? As long as it allows some uncertainty, that's a dramatic improvement in terms of modeling. Just like, uh, suppose that we are trying to predict tomorrow's uh, stock price. Okay? If you use a deterministic model, all of you maybe have insider information. You know 99%, suppose 95%, it will increase. It will become twice, right? If only 95% and you know this knowledge only true under 95% of time, then you wouldn't kind of all in, right? But if you think it's 100% 10 times, or twice of the price, then you definitely, your best decision is just all in, right? So if you believe something too much, and that something is not exactly 100% correct, that's when the, the model will give you a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, hurt you a lot, okay? So that's the, I would say, this case is that deterministic model is that you believe something you shouldn't believe 100%, but you make it deterministic, so it's 100%. That's the nature of the model is uh, hurt you a lot, okay? So we have to incorporate uncertainty, okay? And in a more formal way. So um, let's, so here is, uh, I can tell you the solution, by the way. I can tell you, the key message I want to tell you is Common so far is common future is nothing but a does the same thing like Lundberg observer but consider a stochastic linear system model. Okay, that's the first thing. The goal is to estimate state. The second thing I want you to keep in mind is common future in terms of solution is super simple. Okay, I can tell you the solution is just this. Common future is nothing but compute a conditional expectation. Do you know what conditional expectation is? Okay, common future is nothing. Uh, I could write it down. <laughs> common future is, I would say, a recursive way. Recursive way. Uh, how to print recursive? Of computing the conditional expectation, all right? Uh, computing the conditional expectation. 
this one. OK? Done. If you know how to, if you know probability, if you know probability well enough, I mean, this is nothing, has nothing to do with, with control or whatever engineering context. If you know probability, you can do it. Right. If you check, I'm not sure Yun Tian said he called some packets using common future. Uh, my implementation of common future may be just a few lines of code, less than 10. Okay, maybe less than 10 lines of code. Of course, I mean, essential lines of code. Of course, you can define a lot of variables that doesn't count, okay? So lines line 10 or at most 20 lines of code. It's very, very simple, okay? If you look at Wikipedia, you can find formulas. You just copy that formulas. Suppose you know what's going on in the formulas, and you're done. And that's most, I think most courses teach you common future that way, maybe. And teach you some kind of hand-waving uh, intuition about which parameter you should tune like what, how to tune those parameters in certain cases, give some insight. Okay. After this way, I don't think you can learn common future. Uh, you become a user of common future. Uh, this class not teach you or try to make you a user of common future. We are trying to make sure everyone in this room, hopefully, can understand exactly almost everything about common future. The assumptions, why it's defined this way, and the entire derivation that I emphasize. Okay, you may not need it, but if I just teach you those formula and a few lines of code, uh, I think we can be done within 20 minutes. And you can practice a lot. You may even have more <laughs> hands-on experience, but I don't think you know what's going on. So in reality, once you see some new problems, you will just complain, I don't have any package that meets my requirement. You have to know what's going on inside the lines and the underlying principles, okay. Uh, what we need is that you need probability. Especially conditional probability. Probability and expectation. Sounds simple, right? It turns out over the past few years, uh, I think both in China and also in the US, most undergrad students, they finish taking probability and random variables without knowing what probability and random variable is. Okay, the same thing like I, I gave you a review of linear algebra, you have learned that before, but the way I want you to learn is different from what you got before for most people. Okay, for here is as well, for probability I think is even worse. What did you learn about probability? Some formulas, some probability distributions, and some tricks, some formulas, and very high scores. Not very high scores, okay? I think what's really missing is the conceptual understanding. It's very important, conditional expectation. That's what I'm telling you, okay? And also you need, uh, to know a little bit about estimation, minimum mean squared estimate, estimates, estimation. It's called MMSE. So common future is the best estimate of the state. In what sense? The mean squared estimation error. Okay, so common future is sometimes equivalent to recursive least square problem. We just test the least square in the midterm, right? So common future, if you look at the formula, uh, we didn't learn recursive least square. We only learned a batch version of least square. Okay, if you have a recursive least square, you have common future, you will see there are a lot of uh, similarities among the formulas, okay? So they are trying to recursive update the state estimate to minimize the minimum mean square error, okay? For all of this, none of this is really about control. Of course, the underlying system, this one is a dynamical system. That's the only thing that relates to control. All about them is about probability. So probability linear algebra will be the two foundation for this class 
as well as for robotics, for machine learning, for, for, for all the things you, are, you love nowadays. Okay, so you have to learn probability well, and maybe even better than linear algebra, I hope. Okay, so that's why I'm going to spend some time, not some, quite some time, to teach you from the very beginning about probability that, which I hope you know before, but unfortunately most of you need this kind of review. Okay, all of you remember linear algebra, what I emphasize, the key building block. Use the linear algebra from what? Linear combinations. Three concepts. Three concepts. That's your? Okay. Linear combination. Everything else builds upon linear combination. The entire linear algebra builds upon linear combination. Right? Independence is whether linear combination, whether, whether one vector can be written as a linear combination of others. If that's the case, they are dependent. If not, they are independent. That's it. Okay, the entire vector space, null space, rank is all about linear combinations. For probability, we are going to teach you some tools like that. All right, we will, we will continue next time.